7. Close Packing of Spheres Tetragonal Planes and Axes First, let's start introducing an abbreviation. Let's call the Close Packing of Spheres Arrangement, the CPS Arrangement. Now, a similar investigation of the CPS arrangement, as the one presented in the previous section, reveals that there are four more directions in the close packing of spheres that are defined by parallel planes. All these planes have a hexagonal pattern. For consistency with the orthogonal planes defined already, we will introduce a new term to express the relationships among the directions of these four sets of planes. We will say that these four planes are tetragonal to each other. In this case, these four set of planes are parallel with the faces of a tetrahedron. As seen already, the intersection of the orthogonal planes corresponding to the square pattern form the Cartesian coordinate system of axes. A similar set of coordinate system of axes can also be developed for the four set of planes based on a hexagonal lattice pattern. The intersection of these four planes forms four tetragonal axes. Again, these axes are lines, but they are formed by a different pattern than the pattern encountered in the orthogonal case. At this point we can imagine a more complete coordinate system. This system will have seven different planes, three planes having an underlining square pattern, and four planes a hexagonal pattern. There are also seven axes, the first three mutually orthogonal on each other and remaining four mutually tetragonal on each other. We can conclude now, that every sphere in the CPS is the intersection of seven lines, or axes. The facts presented so far, regarding the close packing of spheres, are just the tip of the iceberg of patterns and facts hidden in the CPS arrangement. Next videos will continue our investigation into the treasures of CPS.